Yes, um, this is a load cell, and this is a, a typical load cell inside here uh, that you might well find in an F1 car in suspension systems. And basically what a load cell does is it measure, measures force that is applied to it, either in compression or separation. So any force that uh, is transmitted through the load cell will give off a signal. We can measure that signal, put it up onto a screen, and this will give us the output um, from the test. So we can measure the force generated by a muscle or an action and then have a record of it. We use um, different uh, forms of applicator. We use a harness or we use compression plates and different uh, types of compression plate. So we then apply this to the body at a fixed um, position in a reproducer position and then we would uh, either pull or push on the body to uh, create a maximal force. Once we've uh, applied the forces and we can measure the, the, the amount of force that uh, each part can uh, generate, for example the neck, we can test all the actions, uh, we can then see if there are any deficits. So in other words, you may well get a, a deficit between a left side and a right side. Uh, we'll have a record of that, which means that we can then in our rehabilitation target those deficits in a very specific way. With our analysis, we can look at to uh, see which areas that need to be addressed. We can then design the training program, but we now have a record of the uh, peak torque and the endurance of that area so that we know exactly how much force to apply without injuring that part. I'm Thea Maxfield, I'm a horse rider. I'm a patient of Don Gatherer at the Gatherer Partnership. I was introduced to him about a year ago when I was suffering from a hangman's fracture where I'd broken C2 and C3 at the top of my neck. And um, we created an individual program where I did, um, I lifted weights and pulled weights. And then we introduced it with the saddle horse here. And I did it tailored to the position that I sit in on the horse whilst exercising to strengthen the neck. We've been adapting it for use in other sports and as an example of, of that um, for, we can use it in uh, rugby and F1. So for example uh, a rugby prop we can apply uh, our analysis, we can see exactly what his baseline figures are, we can compare those to other props in that same position uh, at international level or club level and we will then know exactly where he is so and we'll know exactly the, the profile that we need that we can give him as a target, both in strength and endurance. And he can also be uh, applied to F1 and uh, racing drivers where there is a different component of force because you've got rapid G, which is difficult to replicate in a gym. So if you're going to take anything up to 4G within one second, that could represent uh, 32 kilograms. To apply that force within one second safely is almost impossible in a gym whereas we can do it uh, with our equipment.